Time for us to leave Indonesia momentarily and check out some headlines from around Southeast Asia. All right, we start with Malaysia, where the Strait Times cited a government official stating that the country expects to pay less than $270 million to Singapore for the termination of the high-speed rail project between the two countries. The statement refers to remarks made by Singaporean Transport Minister Ong Yi Kung that the country has spent about that amount on the project. The Transport Minister also said the compensation would not include land costs. From Thailand, Minister Prai Chanacha said the country had ordered an additional 35 million doses of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine, bringing its total vaccine pipeline to 63 million. The Southeast Asian country, which has reported more than 8,000 COVID-19 cases and 65 deaths, aims to inoculate at least half of its 70 million population. Now in November, the Thai government also reserved 26 million doses of the AstraZeneca and Oxford University vaccine, which would be produced by Thai firm Siam Bioscience for local use and export. And finally, from Singapore, where the rainfall has started to ease after two consecutive days of downpours that triggered landslips and flooding around the country. The mercury inched up and water levels have started to go down at flooded areas, though the weather remained cool and windy with an average daily temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. Works to repair the damage has also kicked off, with areas in Havla, Fort Canning and Loyang cordoned off as repairs were done.